Well, hello everyone, and welcome here to Don't Starve. I'd love to be doing this with a bit late to the game, but yeah, unfortunately she's a very busy person, and we don't get as much time to record together as we might like. But everyone seems to like Don't Starve, so I was thinking if I can't do it with her, I shall do a solo series. So I shall be playing this on those weeks that I can't play with a bit late to the game. Let's start a new game, shall we? Play. Okay, so new game. Okay, so Reign of Giants will play Wilson because I play Wilson as the gentleman scientist. I'll conquer this world with the power of my mind. And let's start. And let's see how long we live. see one good thing already. Let's go and grab... Right, what you do in this game to start off with is you run around you grab resources. And the thing that's making me happy here is I can already see two pieces of flint. There's an axe. And there's half a pickaxe. The fact I've got an axe means that I can quite easily cut down trees. In fact, let's do that now. Okay, so there we go. Axe requires one stick and one piece of wood. Let's sneak on here. Grab that. Ooh, that's the other half of my pickaxe. Wonderful. Going to run away from him. Because at the moment I don't need to fight him. There we go, he's gone. So we're just going to run around like mad for now. Grab what we can find. And uh, see how much of the map we can open up. Oh, they do like posturing and just going on about their territory, don't they? Mine, mine, mine. Okay, so what do we want? We want a place with lots of rabbits would be good. A place with some beefalo nearby would be good. My preferred environment at the start of the game, in all honesty, is grassland. I much prefer setting up my base on a grassland than anywhere else. And once we got that, we can start uh, making some science machines. We can start making cooking materials. Let's get down some of these trees, shall we? And basically getting the, in the stuff we need in order to survive the first winter. Yeah, our number one priority. What I think I'll do is if we get through the winter, hopefully by then we will have found the portal to the next stage and we'll carry on doing that. And which will set us into another world where we have to survive and not starve. And of course, just to make it more fun, they take away all of our stuff. And why wouldn't they? Uh, Okay, dense forest over here. Ooh, grassland. Excellent. Rabbits. This could be a good place to start. Uh, looks like there might be stone up there. We should have a look at that. Yeah, plenty of rabbits here. 
think this is probably going to do us. So, be doubly so if we can find beefalo, triply so if we can find a, a pig village. Let's get that flint. We can always come back for the rest later on, but I don't want that flint to get eaten by a badger or something. And um, yes, that happens. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm liking this. Just stick our noses down here a little bit, see what we can find. Lots of flint is what we can find. Okay, almost evening. Oh, more grass side. Okay. I was going to say it's almost evening, let's stop, but let's see if we can explore this a little bit more. Oh, portal, excellent. That'll teleport us somewhere randomly on the map. Loads and loads and loads of rabbit holes here. Just what we need. I think the sound effects are a little bit loud. Let's turn those down a little bit. Ambient. And FX. There we go. There, that's a little bit better. I don't feel like I'm competing against them in order to talk now. Which to me is important. You might rather hear the ambient sounds, I don't know, but to me, it's important. Oh, more grassland over there. We'll explore that later on. And it's not looking like we've got beefalo here, but we have so many rabbit holes. Yep, this I think is this is going to be where we settle down. So I tell you what, let's go and cut down that rock, and then we'll use that to build a proper campfire. I don't know if that's given us enough stone. Let's have a quick look. No, so we're just using ordinary campfire. I think so I think we're gonna have to pop down fairly soon to be honest with you. Let's find an area close to there you go, loads of rabbit holes there. So I think let's make our base here. Okay, so let's put down campfire. We'll drop it there. Uh, we've got a little bit more time before the sun sets so let's grab ourselves a few more trees and then during the dark we shall have a plan of what we're going to do next. Um, cutting down, as people who've played this game I'm sure know, cutting down trees can be a dangerous thing because occasionally a nearby one will turn into a tree guardian, but it tends not to happen in the first few days, so I'm quite relaxed about it at this point. Alright, so let's get to some some firewood. It's very, very nearly dark second it does become dark, we're just going to run back towards the fireplace. In fact, we might as well do it now. Here we go. Okay, so here we are, safe by the fire. We're going to be alright all night. Add a bit of fuel. And let's cook up the food we found. Not actually all that much. Which is going to be a little bit of a problem. But we'll sort, sort that out very quickly by going into the survival menu and let's see how many traps we can make. Well we only have three spaces so that'll have to do for a start won't it? Okay that's it and now let's have a quick look at the map. So we started off over here and we've explored around here overnight. I think tomorrow I want to take a look up here and see if we can get over here because that looks like where there's a stony area and that should be able to give us gold and with gold we can make a science machine and also give us stone so we can make a proper campfire and that will get us well onto the way to being organized so what we'll do tomorrow is we'll just explore up here we'll drop down those traps here first explore up here and then move up to the top there how are we doing for time we have plenty of it so let's just drop a little bit more fuel in there we go might as well grab that while we're doing it. Uh, there's 
there's not much you can do at night, especially at the start of the game, except for just hang around and hope one's sanity stays intact. In fact, think about that. I've got nothing on my head, so let's make a garland. That'll slow down the degradation of sanity during the night and make us, believe it or not, saner in the morning. Uh, there's a hippie comment there somewhere, isn't there? Uh, okay, nearly there. So let's do our little dance around the fire here. Oh, it's morning. Excellent. Let's go and travel a little bit. So these first. Let's get some traps on them. There's one there. One there. And there. In fact, let's get a couple more traps. And I think that's got us down and out of sticks. So we're going to have to get some more of those. Where's the last one? There it is. Right, we'll check those in the evening. And hopefully there'll be some rabbits in them. Which should give us some yummy food. Sticks. Excellent. So we're on day two. Not actually doing too badly, to be totally honest with you quite happy with our progress so far. Hopefully we'll find beefalo very soon. And if we can find some stones today and some gold today, we are going to be well on to our way on making a science engine and getting well, getting the inventions coming and just making our lives easier and you know survivable as well. Hello, B. Okay. Let's eat that. And then we'll use that slot to pick up some more berries. Okay. Sticks. Beehive there, that's good. Right, how are we doing? That's where we saw the stone. I'm starting to worry that we're not going to be able to get there. In fact, I know we're not going to be able to get there. So let's quickly follow the edge across here and see if we can get up the other side. Because stone is the most useless, useful thing. Useless? The most useful. Oh, look. There we go. That's what we want. This is going to help us out a lot. So let's uh, equip our pickaxe. Pick up this flint because it's free flint. And this one is a gold bearing rock, so let's make use of this one. Okay, gold! Alright, how are we doing for time? We've got plenty of time still. Oh, okay. That was our only rock of the area. Alright. Well, one piece of gold is not going to help us with the science engine, so it looks like the hunt is going to have to continue. So, might as well just keep going. We picked up some food. I think we're going to be alright for tonight. Um, so, let's just keep on wandering for now. And once we've found enough gold, we'll head back to where we, we decided to make our base. Unless, of course, we find somewhere better. Oh, there you go. That's the thing we want. Perhaps this one will give us a bit more gold. So there we go, there's two gold. In fact, there's three gold. If we go to science engine, the science engine we need one gold, wood, and. Oh, I don't think I turned on Reign of Giants. So that should be electrical doodads and not gold. Oh well, it looks like we're playing pre Reign of Giants this time round. We'll change that when I die. Not that that's going to happen soon, is it, people? No, of course not. Right, let's just grab this stuff while we're here. And then we'll... I want some more stones. Looks like the game is going to give them to me. It's excellent. What I think we will do is we will... Oh, look at that. Excellent. That's what we want. Mother load. I think what we'll do is we'll spend the night here and we shall head back in the morning. We've got plenty of wood, so that's not really a problem. 
but we will clear all this before we go back. Oh, there we go, lost our first pickaxe. Uh, let's make another one. That's why we've been collecting stones and wood all day. Sticks rather, I should say. Okay, grab this. Grab that one so we don't wander away from it. Let's keep an eye on the time. Look, this is giving us plenty of stone resource which is going to be really important to us at the start of the game. Let's grab those sticks. Okay. Some more. So we'll get what we can during the night. And in the morning, we shall head back to the grassland where we have our traps. We should have plenty of rabbits in there by now. Okay, another pickaxe needed. Excellent. So we'll just get all these flattened. Right, it's nearly dark. We'll stop after this one. Actually, we'll stop after the one after this one. We've still got a bit of time. Let's squeeze as much out of this as we can. Like that. One more. And let's get a fire made. There we go. Yeah, that was pushing it too far, I think. But never mind, that'll do. So stick the last of these pine cones in there. Like that. Right, we've got nine gold nuggets. Cook these carrots. And we shall have a carroty supper. Alright. Yeah, now it's getting dark. No moon. That's the reason why. We have some seeds, we have some logs, loads of stone. Let's just check the science. Okay, so we've got enough to make a science machine. Um, yeah. In fact, we've got enough to make a lot of this stuff, to be totally honest with you, so that's good. Um, what I want to make soon after this will be a crock pot, and as soon as we find some of the... Beefalo, that's the word I'm grasping for. As soon as we find some of the beefalo, we'll make ourselves some farms. And at that point, we're, we're actually starting to get really well organized for winter. We might build some drying racks as well, because I think we're going to end up with a lot of rabbit. Perhaps a lot more rabbit when we're going to end up with vegetables and fruit, which might cause problems. We'll see. But I can always dry it down for jerky, if nothing else, and it will last a long time. Looking at the time... Okay, we are. Hmm. Let's do one more day. We'll make the episode. We'll make the episode three days long, and we'll spend the time dancing around the campfire. In fact, I might just cut this bit out. Morning. Let's go home. So let's have a quick look at the map. That's where we travelled yesterday. So we travel down this way, I feel, just open up a bit more of the map. And then when we get back there, we'll set up our base. Nice to know we have all this stone, that's not going to be a problem. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, just the one grave in the graveyard. No, two. Okay, there's more. We're going to need that. That's my timer going off. Silence you. Bit of gold. We'll grab that. Okay. Graveyard we're going to need for certain colour stones. We're going to need those for you know, high level items. Right. This area looks a bit bare, doesn't it? How are we doing? Yeah, okay, we're traveling down here nicely. Let's follow this road, see where it goes. Right, 
sticks. Good, we're getting low of those. I think what I will do is, when I'm a little bit more organised, I will come back with a shovel and dig up all these uh, saplings. Move them back to the base so getting sticks is easier. So this will help us make a few more traps. And that's the important thing. Not found much food down here, which is somewhat worrying. Hello, rabbits. There we go. Right, we're back where we started. Grab that. Grab that carrot. And let's go and see and find our traps and see what we've got in them. I think we're down this way. Yep, we are down this way. You can see the little traps on the map. Okay, so that one worked. That one worked. Drop that for a sec, and unfortunately it looks like we're going to have to stack these guys straight away. Set the trap please. Thank you. Let's drop this carrot over here. There we go, it should be alright. And look at the last trap here. Reset that. Alright. That's some bunny nuggets. Let's get a few more traps done. Don't have enough grass. Okay. Don't think I've forgotten about that carrot, Mr. Bunny. I can see you edging closer to it. Alright. Well, I think we've got the materials now to make a decent fire. We're going to make a science engine. And let's see what else we can build. Oi! I'll have you! He ate my carrot! Oh, actually, I'm bored chasing him now. Okay. Right. Okay, so, first of all, let's make a decent fire. Fire pit, that way... We just have to re relight it. Let's cook what food we have. Okay, and these three morsels of meat. Not quite as good cooked this way, but... It beats as the turtle goes starving. So there we go, we'll just fill ourselves up on that. Yeah, another trap has been sprung, excellent. So all these bunnies, at least during the summer, are going to keep us going strong. Another trap. Stick that down here. Logic being, um, the reason why I'm putting them this side is that uh, I think I'm more likely to scare them in that direction. Okay, so let's make ourselves a science engine. So uh, it's this one, science engine. And we'll pop that there. Brilliant, that gives us loads of extra stuff to make. So we can, for example, we can make the shovel we need, but the first thing I want to do is make myself a backpack if I can. Umbrella, net, fishing rod. Yourself, piggyback, backpack. Okay, so we need a couple more pieces of grass. Alright, let's grab those before it gets too dark. Uh, it's one. And two, there we go. Okay, that's marvellous. Now we go back up to the science engine. We can then make ourselves... Survival... Backpack, there we go. Right, so from now on we don't need to be near a, uh, the science engine to make that. We've made the prototype. That gives us some sanity, interestingly enough, and that gives us eight extra spaces, which is going to help a lot. 
I do for time. Okay, let's stick some fuel in there because it's going to get dark soon. Alright, go back up here and let's continue looking at the science stuff we can make. So, the alchemy engine actually would be good to make at this point. It just unlocks more things that we can make, so let's do it. Uh, actually, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a shovel like that. We'll equip the shovel and we'll use it to pick up this. We'll plant that elsewhere. Let's just clear this space out a little bit. There we go. Okay, now. Back up here. Science. Alchemy engine needs boards and cut stone, but we can do that down at the refine. So that's boards and cut stone. Yeah, we can make the cut stone, but we don't have enough logs to make the boards, so it looks like we're going to need to go shopping. Well, cutting days down. So, four, eight, uh, 16. But we only need to, we need twelve more logs basically because we only got four there. But we'll probably use those during the night if nothing else. So let's see what else we can make here quickly. What would be useful to make? So we don't need any of that at the moment. We've made ourselves that pitchfork. We don't need razor. We're going to need later on, but I don't think we need it at this point. So survival. Okay. Need more traps, in all honesty, but uh, don't have anything we need for those just yet. So I think what we need to do here is actually just do a massive great hunt and the next day get ourselves some resources because we need to do boards and we need to make cut stone. We've got the stuff for the cut stone, we don't have stuff for the boards. It's morning, but I think we've been playing this for long enough now. So I'm going to say, guys, thank you very much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's not the same without uh, a bit late, but let's see if we can make up with it with some reasonable playing. So until the next time, thank you and good night.